Good morning everyone. My name is Kiria Vasiliki and I help out at All Saints Church in Belmore with the Nipia class. Our lesson today is on a very special saint of our church. His name is Apostle Peter. He was a disciple of Christ. A disciple is someone who is a student of a great teacher. Just like you have a teacher at school who teaches you in a classroom, Apostle Peter was the student of Christ who was his teacher. Christ met Apostle Peter first of all on the shore of Galilee. One day, Apostle Peter, together with his brother Andrew, you see Apostle Peter on the left in this icon here, and Apostle Andrew on the right, they were fishing together at the shore of Galilee. They saw Christ walking towards them along the shore. Christ said to them, Can I please borrow your boat? I have a big crowd following me, and I want to um, teach them all and make sure that they can all see me. So the brothers allowed him to borrow their boat. Christ moved a little bit further into the lake, sailing a small distance away from the shore, and began to preach to the people who had gathered there. Peter and Andrew were listening to him very carefully, and they were very impressed by what they heard. When Christ finished preaching, he came back to Peter and said, Why don't you take your boat further out into the lake and cast your fishing nets there? But Peter said to him, Teacher, all night we've been fishing. We're exhausted. We were trying to cast our nets all night and yet we haven't caught anything. But if you tell me to do so, then I will do it. So the two brothers rowed their boat further out into the lake and cast their nets into the water. Immediately, the nets were completely full with fish. Peter was so moved by this miracle that he came back to shore and fell on his knees before Christ. Then Christ said to him, Peter, if you follow me, I will make you a fisherman, but not of fish. I will make you a fisherman of people. Peter immediately followed and became one of Christ's most beloved disciples. Because from the very first moment that he saw Christ, Peter showed him great love. Wherever Jesus went, Peter went too, because he wanted to be with him all the time and to learn from Christ. His love for Christ was so great that when he saw Jesus walking on water, Peter even wanted to be with him there. He found the courage to jump out of his boat and also walk on the water, except that he lost his courage. He saw the storm around him and he became afraid. And as his faith left him, he began to sink into the water. But Christ grabbed him and helped him. Peter was the very first disciple to confess and realize that Christ was the Son of God. He had so much love and respect for Christ that during the Last Supper, when Christ wanted to wash the disciples' feet, Peter refused to let him wash his feet. He said, Lord, will you wash my feet? I don't want that. But Christ said to him, If I do not wash your feet, you have no place near me. You see that Christ is almost telling Peter off. He's saying, you don't understand what I'm doing. 
Peter then showed how much love he had for Christ by saying, Lord, wash not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. And you see in the icon, St. Peter is holding his hand to his head, showing that he's asking Christ to wash his head too. We see that in all of these icons of Christ washing the feet of the apostles. When Christ spoke to his disciples about the time that he was going to leave earth, Peter asked him, where are you going? Can I come with you? He loved Christ so much that he wanted to be with him forever. But he didn't understand that Christ meant that he was going to die, not that he was going on a trip. Despite loving Christ so much, Peter was also the disciple who denied Christ three times. You see in this icon that St. Peter, who is down the bottom in a golden robe and with short hair and beard, came to watch what was going to happen at Christ's trial. And he was standing in the courtyard where there was a nice bonfire, warming his hands and trying to look inside the door to see what was going to happen with Christ. But people noticed him and pointed at him and said, Aren't you a friend of Christ? And Peter became afraid. He said, No, I don't know that man, because he didn't want to be captured and crucified as well. As soon as Peter said this, the rooster, you see it up in the top corner, crowed three times. And St. Peter remembered that Christ had told him, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. He was so upset that he wept bitterly and he did something that in the Orthodox Church we call repentance. That meant he felt very sorry for what he had done. After Christ resurrected, he saw that Peter had sincerely repented. He sincerely was sorry for what he had done and Christ forgave him. St. Peter was a very strong and very loving man, and that is why Christ chose him to be his disciple. He loved Christ very much, and the more he knew Christ, the more he loved him. In our life, we also have to love Christ just as St. Peter did, to the point where we're willing to give everything else up for him. St. Peter was a disciple of Christ and a leading apostle of our church. He sets a good example for all of us to follow. And we celebrate him on this coming Monday, the 29th of June. Now to conclude, we have a Kahoot activity for you to take part in to see if you remembered all of the details of today's presentation. You can find the link down below in the description box.